Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we are reviewing the Milwaukee 12-piece 3-8 socket set, metric edition, part number 4822-9001. All right, let's take a look. Here's the case. Ooh. Uh, now, seriously, uh, this is actually a, a pretty nice, uh, well-built um, case. Nice zipper. Um, it opens easy. All right, let's take a look. You ready? Here we go. Ooh. Um, anyway, uh, this kit, let, let me tell you a little backstory. The reason why I bought this kit, one, I got a good deal. And two, I have a, I, uh, I like to collect ratchets. And um, uh, this set of Milwaukee, uh, uh, the straight set has a ratchet that you can't buy by itself. At least I haven't found it. And uh, that's the Milwaukee 3-8 Roto Head Ratchet, right? Here she is. Soft grip. Um, I haven't, I, I have ratchets from air, all kinds of brands, but I don't have a single Milwaukee ratchet, not even the chrome ones. So this is my first one. And, uh, I tell you what, I like the soft grip. feels good in my hand. It's like a rubbery thing here. And then you have this plastic molded, whatever, but together I feel like I got a good grip. Um, when they first came out with these Roto ratchets, I didn't think I would like them. But now they're my go-to. They're um, this is what I prefer over the, the just the straight ones or the flex or even the flex locking. Um, so I'll use this first, and if I need something else, then I'll switch to it. But um, I like the the roto head because you can go straight on and and uh, you know put something in, uh, or you can do it at a little bit of an angle, right? Uh, so it's very versatile. Um, and uh, I don't know what the two count is on this, but I'll let you listen to it. Let's see. Sounds pretty good. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say probably a 90. Um, but, uh, but anyway, great ratchet overall. And that's why I bought this kit. But this kit was on Amazon. And uh, I seen the price, I think it was $31. And I was like, man, I can get a uh, Milwaukee ratchet. I can get some sockets, a couple other uh, socket attachments, and, and an extension from Milwaukee for, for the price that I would have just paid for the ratchet. But anyway, um, they have a different type of knurling. It's usually cross-hatched, but this one, uh, I don't know it it's okay um it does the job i guess uh, so anyway and it's in the position where you need it um like when you're ratcheting something you want to just spin this with the socket on okay and and the other thing is i i don't have no milwaukee sockets up until now you know they had this square design they got their logo up here um clearly marked that's etched in there but they have this weird shape and the reason for the shape, it, um, <laughs> a lot of times I work on a car and I, I set down a socket on the hood or something and of course it rolls right off. But this design allows it where it won't roll off to a point. Um, so here's a look at this 19 millimeter. Um, you know, it, it's well built. I, I um, actually uh, compared it to uh, another, or a Tekton chrome socket, you know, same size. And, you know, they, they seem about the same except for this weird shape. Um, but overall, I think they're fine. Um, and this kit, not only does it come with these sockets, but it comes with, now I tell you what, these are kind of hard to get out of here and I guess it needs worked in. But um, what do you get? You get a uh, 3 eighths to quarter adapter 
And you also get a bit driver uh, attachment to this ratchet. So that's cool. I'm glad this kit comes with that. Um, your, your sizes, uh, let's see what you get. You get uh, 19 I already have out. Then you got 18, 17, uh, what's this, 15. So it skips 16, 14, 13, 12, and 10. So it skips, uh, yep, it skips 11. 11 and what did I say? <laughs> 11 and 16. Um, now, where would I use this kit? Um, normally, I guess somebody would just keep this in the car um, or or maybe on their bench and, and they have to go look at a problem on a car, just a quick look and they bring this just in case they have to break open a fastener. Um, but that's not what I'm gonna use it for. What I'm gonna use it for is um, to actually, this one uh, I'm going to put as my my go-to 3-8 uh, ratchet in my uh, tool cart. And uh, uh, and let's see, and probably the, ex the extension too. Now I'll probably just throw this in my box of other extensions. I, I think I'd rather use the other ones I have. Um, and these sockets, uh, I'm just going to put them on a little rail and... Uh, put them in probably in my tool cart because all my, or a majority of my sockets in my tool cart are all impact. Um, but sometimes you need a different size to get into a tight position and the chromes are a little bit easier to work with in certain circumstances. Um, but anyway, let's compare this to, uh, first we'll compare it to the 3 eighths. Um, what is this? Oh, this is the Pittsburgh cheapo. And um, here, I'll let you listen to this. Wait a second here. They don't. Okay. So this one's probably a 72 tooth. Um, but anyway, so uh, lengthwise, look, look at the size of the head difference. That's where this one will come in handy. They're both three eighths. But this head is so much bigger. See, big difference, right? Um, big difference in the width, too. Uh, let's see. That one's a uh, push-button release. What's this one? Nope, this one don't have that. And they both had the same type of... Um, uh, to switch it um, from clockwise to counterclockwise. Uh, and the handle... You know, this is a cheap ratchet, but you know what? It works pretty good. I, I, I got no complaints. It's not my go-to, but it's a great backup and the price is right. All right, and I don't have a Tekton 3 8 uh, roto head, or at least I don't know where it's at anyway, <laughs> if I do. But um, this is really similar to, to the Pittsburgh ones. Um, they're made, I believe they're made in the same factory. But uh, same thing. Uh, and I usually don't use a roto head on three eighths or half inch, but I do have them. Oh, oh, this is a half inch. Yeah, my bad. Um, but anyway, I, I bought them because I collect ratchets. Uh, so anyway, listen, if you like this type of content, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let me know what you think about this Milwaukee uh, roto ratchet and this set. And if you would buy it or not, and if so, why would you do it or why you wouldn't? <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, here at Johnson for Tools, we value your time. And we want to thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on our next video. And by the way, I'm going to leave a uh, Amazon affiliate link for this kit. And so you can take a look for yourself and, and see what the going price is. Um, now, one other thing. Uh, when I bought this, this kit was a refurbished, it was a return, it was refurbished, guaranteed, all that. And as you can tell, it looks brand new. So somebody bought it and returned it for whatever reason and I got a deal on it. This kit normally goes for, um, I don't know, I've seen it all over the board from 40 to 70 bucks. But anyway, hey, thanks again and, and have a great day.